Yo guys, it's Infinite Potatoes. Today we're doing the breakdown trailer of Star Wars Battlefront 2. I have a lot of things to cover, including some cool features from their website. You can watch the entire trailer on their website. The link is in the description below. Now let's get into it. First thing is first, this looks like it takes place during or after episode 6 due to this first scene here on Endor where they're storming the rebel base and the main character, the protagonist, looks up into the sky and sees the Death Star blow up. The timeline for the single player campaign seems to take place around episode 7. Here in this shot you can see the Death Star 2 blow up and then she says, I was waiting 30 years for this. I've waited 30 years for this. Now, I don't know a lot about campaign, so I'm going to move into the important multiplayer stuff because that's where I'm interested in. Here, on the website, Battlefront2.com, shows and proves to us that they decided to bring space battles into Star Wars Battlefront 2, a fan favorite from the original game. First, let's start with some of the concept exploration art. Here we see at storming the rebel base. From what it looks like in the image are rideable tauntauns, such as horses in Battlefield 1. Why I'm saying this is because in Battlefield 1 you can have elite classes, such as the Flame Trooper, and you can still ride a horse. Now I hope it's like that in Battlefront 2. I want heroes to be able to ride tauntauns, and in this image it kinda hints to it. That looks like Han Solo in his DL-44 on the right side of the screen. Now the next image is of Kamino. This photo is amazing. First thing we see is jetpack clone troopers. And no, not a jump pack as in Battlefront 1. A jetpack like Django Fett. Speaking of Django Fett, on the top right of the image, it shows his slave 1. I'm 99% sure that Django Fett is a confirmed hero now. Also in the background, you can see multiple LAAT ships. These ships were used to transport soldiers under an atmosphere of a planet. I would enjoy very much to fly one of these. This last exploration art shows stormtroopers inside of a hangar. Now to me this looks like a Death Star hangar, as by the lighting on the floor along with the tube. But it could be any Star Destroyer. Now onto the multiplayer trailer and extra info I found. Here in this scene are AT-ATs along with stormtroopers attacking who knows what planet. I believe it to be Coruscant or Mandalore. To me it looks more like Coruscant, but it could take place there after Order 66 since it's in the multiplayer part. In this scene, we see here in the above battle of the Battle of Jakku, where many starfighters fought. This next scene consists of a First Order TIE fighter attacking another ship. Then it shifts into Starkiller base, and then onto the best part of this part, Maz Eisley. For these last scenes, we have Kylo Ren force pulling Rey, then killing an officer. Maybe we can get Kylo Ren rage mode where he can kill his teammates. Here are a few of the customization options found on the live stream. Now this is a big one. Details for the Deluxe Edition pre-order of Star Wars Battlefront 2 Elite Trooper Deluxe Edition. The Star Wars Battlefront 2 Elite Trooper Deluxe Edition turns your troopers into the ultimate opponents. Every trooper class, Officer, Assault, Heavy, and Specialist is upgraded, delivering superior firepower, deadly weapon modifications, and epic combat abilities. Pre-order the Star Wars Battlefront 2 Elite Trooper Deluxe Edition and receive a range of bonuses, including access to playing Star Wars Battlefront 2 on November 14th, a 3-day head start, upgraded versions of all 4 trooper classes, 4 epic ability upgrades, one for each trooper, instant weapon unlocks and weapon modifications for each trooper class, exclusive Kylo Ren and Rey themed looks inspired by the Star Wars The Last Jedi, 
epic ability modifiers for Re Kylo Ren and Rey, and an epic ability modifier for the Millennium Falcon. Now, Battlefront 2 apparently does take a little bit from Battlefield 1, coming with trooper classes, along with different upgrades. Instant weapon unlocks and weapon modifications. Weapon modifications, I'm sure lots of people want that. Weapon modifications are adding a scope, adding a bipod, it, it just makes the game so much more fun. Exclusive Kylo Ren and Rey themed looks, that's like different skins for the heroes, which adds personality. If they add battle packs such as Battlefield 1, well of course name it something else, to Battlefront 2, that could be a major thing, such as hero skins as they show here. Same thing with epic ability modifiers for Kylo Ren and Rey. Maybe they could have 20 different abilities that you could switch out from, but you'd have to unlock them through battle packs. Thanks for watching, make sure to drop a like if you enjoyed. Make sure to comment below anything that I did miss or that you'd like in this next game. See you guys in the next one.